Welcome to Notion and Productivity with Productivity HQ. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Productivity Headquarters. Today we're going to dive into a video about this new update that Notion has created and it is called Notion Faces. As you can see, I've already created my Notion face and added into my Notion dashboard, but I want to show you guys how you guys can create your own. If you didn't know previously, Notion didn't have this option and you used to have to go to different sites like Notion Avatar Maker and Avatar Show and create your own and they always had like this specific look to it it gave the notion feel but not all the way so now notion has their own dedicated site for it right on their site and you also can go in and download different variations of it we'll go through it and make one together and i'll also show you how to get to it so the first thing you'll do is go ahead and go to google and you'll search up notion faces it'll be the first icon here and then they also have the notion faces faces help center but you just click on that first one there and it'll bring you straight to their site and let's dive right into making our own Notion face. So let's start off with the skin tone. It's already pretty much the skin tone that I would use. Let's jump into the eyes. We're just gonna make a real random one really quickly. And let's see here. We can do, cause I've already made three different variations of it. And actually let me show you what my three different variations were. So I uploaded my three different variations over on my Substack. If you guys are already tuned in, go ahead and check out my Substack. I send out new newsletters on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But here are my different variations that I created right here. So this is my first one that you guys can see that's actually on my Notion account. And then we have my second one here, which is a different variation of kind of how I wear my hair. And then another one. This is kind of supposed to be a mixture of an updo, but not at the same time. And then I also linked how you can do it on my Substack. But let's jump back into it. So we're going to kind of maybe create like a little silly one or I'm not sure what kind we should create. We can create maybe like a, I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe we'll create another like girly one and just choose different kind of like silly hairstyles. Or maybe we'll create like a funny looking one. Mm, I don't know. I just can't pull myself to create a funny looking one. This one's kind of cute. I like those eyes. And then we'll do eyebrows. We'll do these eyebrows just because I wear, we'll do a different variation of this one because I do wear glasses, but I typically don't show myself wearing my glasses on my platforms, but we'll do one wearing glasses because why not? They have a monocle. We could do that one. I'm just going through each one just so you can see the different options of what you can actually create. I think this is the previous nose I selected. Maybe we can select a different kind of nose. Maybe like a pointy one. But I want you to be able to see it though. Maybe this kind of nose. And then a uh, mouth. Let's see here. We'll have a big smile. And then let's change the hair. We can do short hair maybe. And then you also have the options here to make it either like a transparent see-through kind of look or like if you have a certain color hair, maybe it's blonde or any color like that, they have the option. Then maybe if you do have color in your hair, you also have the option here. And then you have the full on black color there also. Let's see here. Let's do... headphones but let's do long they also have a covered option they have hats i don't think i noticed this last time yeah let's do a hat i think that's kind of cute okay and then we can do accessories and we can put a hat on a hat i think that's pretty cute so once you get in and you finish out your design you'll go ahead and go over to save but you also have the option here to clear all go back undo things like that but let's go ahead over to save so i can show you guys how this works so right here you can add in your headline for me i can do productivity headquarters It doesn't let you add as many characters so that's how many characters it lets you add in so I'll just do productivity HQ and then we can do my slogan which is everything you need at your fingertips
and then you can also go ahead and change the background to yellow blue or red which is the usual notion colors you can also have the option to skip it or you can do a randomized caption and headline go ahead and press continue and then you have the option to right here for sharing on social media it'll show the actual customization that you made or if you just want to use the portrait only you can have the white background and the transparent background and then right here you can go ahead and explore other notion users if you would like but i want to show you guys how you would add it in and then right here if you wanted to go ahead and edit your profile it shows you exactly how to do it so let's jump in and i'll show you exactly what that video is displaying so what you would do is go over here in your settings in your notion you click on the account that you're trying to edit once you jump into that account you go ahead and go to my account and then you go up here to the top to replace the photo once you have that you'll go ahead and replace it and go from there so i've gone ahead and actually sent over mine and like i said i have different variations even one without the pencil so i'll go ahead and upload it there and you'll be able to see it populate here once it's ready and then you also have the option if you were starting from here you could go and press create your portrait and it will actually take you to the faces if you already have a notion account if you just wanted to use the images you also have that option but you also can go from your notion settings and it'll take you straight to it so that's a pretty neat method so now when i'm using different things like say for example on my youtube calendar when i'm scheduling anything so say for your different profile like for mine up here you can see that now my little picture at the top there has my little face in it and then this one right here is my old one not my old one but my business one and i don't ever really assign stuff to my business account i always just put it for me but that's how that works so it's pretty cool and i feel like it's a neat addition and it keeps it way easier for people to be able to create their own avatars i'm not sure what took notion so long to make it because this is a great idea and everyone's always been wanting to create their own avatars let me know down in the comments like i said should i change this to my overall avatar everywhere let me know do you plan on creating your own notion face and if this video helped you thank you guys so much for watching see ya